Chris, thanks. It's not going to feel much like winter in our area with temperatures expected to be in the mid 40s into next week. That's much to the detriment of tourism in Lake Geneva. As Sean Gallagher found out, the ice castles there are under attack by our mild winter. They are harvesting icicles at a feverish pace down here in Lake Geneva, trying to make up for lost time thanks to Mother Nature. This isn't what Cardi B meant when she came through dripping. Mother Nature is invading the privacy of progress on Lake Geneva's ice castles. The rain has really brought us down, you know. We can deal with the warm temperatures and kind of the sun hitting the castle, but as soon as it rains, it really knocks us down a lot, really sets us back. Joe Weiler thought there was no limit to the castles after a cold start to November, but December was a different story. Has it been pretty frustrating since then? It has been, you know, it has its weeks. You know, there's weeks when it's really cold and we're really cranking out a lot of good stuff. And then, you know, some rain will hit, it'll kind of bring us down a little bit. And then we just, you know, got to start over. And so that's happened a couple times where we've just had to start from the base again. Of course, being in Wisconsin, the weather always has to put a wrench in the works. Joe Tominaro with Visit Lake Geneva says the ice castles could bring a real money bag to Lake Geneva tourism during the slower winter season. And they would like it like that if it stays cold and dry. When it really gets cold, we might be uh, reaching up to the stars with these. But warmer temperatures this weekend are a threat and not a warning that could offset the castle's progress. If it's going to be warm tonight, we're not going to get a harvest tomorrow. Opening soon is a relative statement. They had a target date of opening on January 10th, but Mother Nature likely going to push that back. We'll, of course, update you with the latest information on TMJ4.com. In Lake Geneva, Sean Gallagher, today's TMJ4.